problems. In mixture problem, um, what's, it, what's expected of you for this is to categorize the application. You should be able to identify that it's a mixture problem and follow the template to solve for the mixture problem. Apply the principles necessary for each type of problem to derive the necessary formulas and applications. Now, typically, what is a mixture problem? It involves a given solution or mixture with initial volume of the fluid containing a substance at time t. Uh, at this particular time, say initially, at time equals zero, um, the volume of the solution inside the container is given. And then there's a solution or a mixture containing the same substance that enters the tank, let's say the, the container is a tank, at a known rate. And the resulting mixture is kept uniform by constant steering. And this is allowed to flow out of the container at a given rate also. Usually, the problem requires to solve for the amount of the substance in the resulting mixture at any time t or the amount of the substance inside the tank. So imagine you have here a tank wherein there is an existing mixture of a given solution. It could be any solution. It could be a mixture of salt and water, uh, sugar and water, some acid. And then with this mixture, um, the volume of the mixture is given and the concentration how much substance is in the mixture that's different from the volume of the mixture itself so that's the existing and then here comes an entering solution wherein there's a flow rate entering a specific uh, volume a specific rate at which the the solution is entering the solution could be a pure liquid or it could be no, the liquid could be a pure liquid or it could be a solution. Meaning, if it's a pure liquid, then there's no substance on it. So you, you have to disregard the concentration. But if it is a solution, then you need to multiply the rate of flow with the concentration of the substance. That's the, the, the time of... This is the, the, the amount of substance that is flowing into the tank. Now, while this, there is an entering solution in the tank, there is also a, an, a solution that is flowing out of the tank. So we call it the, the change in S with respect to time escaping. So we have an escaping mixture. So imagine you have a mixture in the tank and then there is another mixture. Well, it could also be a pure liquid, but it could also be a, a mixture that is flowing into the tank. So what happens with the mixture in the tank? It could be that the substance in the tank would increase or decrease depends on how much fluid or solution is escaping. And then to complicate things, the rate of flow entering could not be or is not, is not the same. It could be that it is greater than or less than the rate of flow uh, outside of the, of the tank. So what will happen, uh, imagine the setting class. Imagine the setting. What are the variations of this type of problem? The mixture of the solution in the tank is dependent on the amount of substance that is flowing into the tank as well as the rate of flow in the tank. That's the, and also it depends on how much fluid or solution is escaping, escaping from the tank. Okay, so let S 
be the amount of the substance at any time t in newtons. Newtons is our um, our uh, unit for the amount of substance, meaning we're looking at the weight of the substance, not the mass, so it's newtons. That's in SI, but if it is in English system, we have pound. And the change in the amount of the substance per, uh, with respect to time, we call it the rate of change of the amount of the substance in the container, okay? The unit is in newton per seconds. Um, the rate of change with respect to uh, uh, the rate of change of the amount of the substance entering is actually the product of the rate of entry in liters per second and the amount of the substance per unit volume present in the entering solution that is in newton per liter so that if you are going to express this it's the product so you have liters per second multiplied by newton per liter. So the liter quantity will cancel out. The result, the resulting product is in newton per second. So it's the same with this one, newton per second. And for the, the change in the amount of the substance with respect to time escaping is the rate escaping multiplied by concentration of the substance so that our our template would be uh, the change in the amount of the substance per unit time or with respect to time is the rate entering or the change in the amount of the substance entering minus the change in the amount of the substance at any given time escaping we have to express this express the the notation of this according to what is given in the problem you just you have to remember that you you need to consider three situations one two and three to imagine what will happen in the solution you know, inside the tank in terms of its volume in terms of its concentration the volume is in liters or cubic meter. So the situation in mixture class is um, a bit difficult to analyze because you have to consider three different things, three different situations. Um, if this is pure liquid, let's say fresh water, then the amount of... Excuse me, class. Hello. Hi. I I'm nag 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 ano ko nag uh, nag lesson. Yeah, I'm at the group. Hmm. Check lang ha. Oh, kasa. Okay. Ah, ah bye bye. So, um, okay, sana tayo. Um, the mixture of the given solution will change, depends on, if this flow rate is faster than this flow rate, huh? if the inflow is faster than outflow, then there is an additional uh, volume of water that will be mixed in the mixture in the initial mixture of the or initial volume of the solution in the tank madadagdagan siya kasi mas ma, mas mabilis yung inflow sa outflow and eventually mag overflow yung tank diba if the concentration also is much um con much larger no Yung, yung concentration, yung volume of concentration or the amount of substance uh, in the solution is, is greater than the concentration of what's inside the tank and as well as the rate of flow 
or it could be that it's greater or lesser, but then the tendency of the amount of the substance will accumulate up to the point that there is no more water flowing in the tank. Hindi na makapag-flow kasi napuno na siya ng substance. Kuha nyo? And if, for example naman, that the concentration is much less and then there's so much water inside the tank, then it could be that it will be diluted such that na, natutunaw, na, no? nadidilute at wala nang naiiwang solution sa tank. Pwede rin ganun. Kaya you have to make sense of the situation to be able to analyze this type of problem. And supposing we have this, a tank initially contains 380 liters of brine holding 450 newtons. So this is initially what's inside the tank, 450 newtons of three, uh, in a 380 liters of, of solution of brine. So therefore, the concentration would be 450 divided by 380. That's, that will give you about 1.18 Newton per liter. That's the concentration inside the tank. And the volume is 380 liters. And then 8 liters per minute of brine containing 375 liter in red mark is what's entering inside the tank. And assuming that it lives at the rate of 12 liters per minute, so you see, 8 liters is what is inflow and the outflow is 12. So this is greater than this one. Um, determine the amount of salt after 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, what do you think will happen to the amount of salt inside the tank? Will it diminish from 450 to something smaller? Sa palagay nyo, ano kaya mangyayari? And then, next question is, when will the amount of salt in the mixture be 500 newtons? So, this is a clue because this is initially 450. And then, here comes a question that it becomes 500. Meaning, it could be that the amount of salt in the tank is actually increasing because of this uh, question here. So that gives you a clue. And what is the maximum amount of salt in the mixture? So take note of the word maximum, which means you're going to make use of the concept of maxima minima, wherein if you remember, the first derivative of a function in order to get its maximum value is to equate the first derivative to zero huh? in your maxima minima concept. So our approach is to let the initial amount in the tank be S sub O, a time at t equals O, a t, t equals zero. And then we have the entering, which is the product of flow in liters per minute, the flow rate, times the concentration, which is 3.75 Newton per liter as given. All right? So there is a 3.75 Newton per liter of water, 3.75 newtons of salt flowing at a rate of 8 liters per minute. And then our escaping is 12 liters per minute times the concentration, which you don't know, which you're going to formulate. Saan siya kukunin? So, okay. This is now our equation, 8 times 3.75 minus 12 times C. And then the C, as you all notice, is because this is concentration, diba? Concentration is in Newton per liter. So how do you obtain the concentration of what's inside the tank? Initially, the tank holds 450 uh, Newton. Yeah? 450 Newton of... Uh, of salt but at after some time that con that that amount of salt will change it will increase as we as we can uh, uh, as expected because of this statement so that since it's a variable you cannot use this in the equation as 450 
you let s be the amount of the salt in the tank as a function of time so the cons in the in, in formulating the the um the formula or the 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 expression for the c we use s instead of the fixed 450 because this is only for when time is zero initially okay so we use s that refers to the newton the amount so s newton divided by this must be in liter so the liter uh, the the volume which is in liter uh should be 380 which is the initial volume of the so of what's inside the tank and then since this is lower than this one the inflow is lower than the outflow then you get the difference which means that there is a four liter liter of brine solution that's added every minute okay so this is four liters per minute multiplied by how many minutes and that represents the time so that would be the concentration of the uh, the solution that is escaping take note that we have a statement here um we have a statement here that is uh, assume uniform uniform the mixture is assumed uniform so by constant steering it is assumed that what's coming out is actually what is the concentration inside the tank so that the concentration of the solution in the tank is the same concentration that is coming out of the tank that's why itong concentration ato is in the tank but we will use this as the concentration of the escaping solution right so we will plug this in to the to the equation that we uh we have no so that at any time t or the derivative no the the derivative or, or the change in in the amount of salt with respect to time is equal to this product here is 30 minus 12 s divided by uh, 380 minus 40. so we have formulated this out from what's given in the problem now supposing this is 12 liters and this is 8 what will happen to our c then for every minute uh, since inflow is greater than the outflow then this 380 minus 40 instead we will write it as 380 plus 40 because for every minute nag add ng 4 liters dun sa tank why because this is greater than this one if it's equal then if this is 8 and this is also 8 then we have only s over 380 there's no need to add or subtract any uh, amount any volume from the initial 380 okay so we will have to reduce this or simplify this by dividing this by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. So it's reduced now to 3s uh, over 95 minus t. And then transpose it. No, This one is transposed to the left. And so we have a folde no? in, in a form, in a standard form of folde, in which um, since our dependent variable is s, then without this s here, this expression 3 over 95 minus t is our p of t and this will be our q of t right and so since we have an expression of p of t we can now obtain our integrating factor which is of this uh, e to the integral of 3 dt over 95 minus t with 3 as constant this is what you're going to integrate this will be your u so that the derivative of your u is negative 1 because you have a negative t. That's why the next expression would be negative 3 integral of du over u. But this is ln of u. Okay? 
which you can write as ln of u to the negative 3 by using the properties of um, exponents. And then uh, replace your u in terms of t. And then finally, with this expression here, e to the ln, it becomes this expression itself, which is uh, 95 minus t to the negative 3. This is, this is now your integrating factor. Okay? And by the way, from this expression here, you could also approach this by variable separable. If you, this is one group of t, and then you have, oh, or by getting the, the uh, you can obtain the, the LCD such that you can group together those expressions with S and group together those expressions with T so that you can apply variables in parable. In that case, uh, the end, the, 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 you will obtain the time. In, you will obtain the, the variable T with respect to S. Balik tad siya. Kasi sa folde, you will obtain the variable S expressed in terms of time. Right? Kaya it's up to you which you prefer so that, um, of course, you will arrive on the same answer. The only difference is uh, the expression. For, for variable separable, you will be solving the time in terms of S. But for folde, so in this line here, uh, you substitute the integrating factor. So you follow the format, dependent variable times the integrating factor equals the integral of the integrating factor times the Q of T, which is 30, plus C. So eventually, you're going to solve for S as a function of time. And then you let U be equal to 95 minus T raised to negative 3. So what will happen if this is your U? No, yeah, this is your u, and then without the exponent, huh? so the derivative of your u is negative dt. Therefore, next line would show that a third, the 30, when you write it outside, will have a negative sign because of this negative dt. And then you have u to the negative 3. Then approach this by power formula so that the integral of u to the negative 3 is u to the negative 2 over 2. And so you have a negative 2 in the denominator and negative 30. So that gives you a positive 15. So you have 15 times 95 minus t to the negative 2 plus c. And to simplify, to remove this, we will multiply both sides by 95 minus t quantity negative 3. So that what's left in the left side is s. And then this will be divided by... Uh, the, this expression with uh, exponent or raised to 3, that means negative 2, um, oh no, not divide, multiply. Negative 2 plus 3, that gives you 1. So we have a 1 uh, exponent here, plus C times what's what's uh, we're trying to multiply. So that's 95 minus T Q. Okay? And apply initial condition because we have a c here and we need to solve for the value of the arbitrary constant take note this is not concentration class we're, we're using the same symbol twice this is the arbitrary co constant arising from the integra integration process which is different from the c that we're trying to solve a while ago which is the concentration uh, it just so happened that we're using the same uh, letter of different uh, notations. Um, where are we now? So solving for C, we apply the initial condition that at time equals zero, substance is 450 newtons. Solving for C again, so 450, 1425, which is 15 times um, 95 because your T is zero already, plus C times 95 cubed. And so that C is negative 975 over 95 cubed. Therefore, S is equal to um, 15 times 95 minus T, okay, minus this, your, this is the expression of your C, 95 minus T quantity Q. So this is now our equation for S with respect to T. So that at any time t, you can solve for s. And given s, you can solve for t. 
So the next question, which is uh, letter A, what is uh, determine the amount of salt after 10 minutes? So apply our condition. T is 10, so this, is, this will be 10. And then you can solve this by using your calculator so that this will result to 577 newtons. Ibig sabihin, after 10 minutes, the amount of substance in the tank increase, increased to 577. So there is, uh, since there is an increase eventually, the amount of salt in the tank will accumulate. Apply initial condition, um, when S is uh, 500 Newton, solve four time in minutes. Now, you look at the expression that we have, this equation that we were able to generate. If you substitute S for 500 and solve for time, this would be quite difficult because um, uh, this is T right here multiplied to 15, which is inside the A grouping, and there's another T quantity cubed so that it would be better to use trial and error and use a substitute for certain values of t so that this would be equal to 500 one new class and also take note that from our uh, given uh, at time equals zero we have 450 and then at time equals 10 minutes you have um 577 which means that uh, this is less than 500. I oh, know this is greater than 500 class. This is greater than 500. Therefore, uh, it has to be that the time is less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes in time. So, for example, you substitute, say, time equals uh, 8. So, 8 minutes. If this value, when substituted, uh, by time equals 8 minutes is greater than or not equal to 500, then you need to reduce the value of your time. So parang gagawa ka ng tabulation. No? When time is this, what is, the, is this? Ha, until you will arrive at a value that is close to 500. So that's the best uh, approach here rather than solving it algebraically. Or you could also use the Excel, what as what my students suggested from previous section, uh, to get the value, just plug in the formula until this would be equal to this one. You could you could use that. So that eventually you will arrive at a T, which is 3.4 minutes. Okay. And then for letter C, what is the maximum amount of salt in the tank? So we will use the concept na first derivative of our S. What's the expression of our S? This one. The first derivative of this, we will equate that to zero to maximize. So we derive our S with respect to time. This is ds dt. And then the derivative of the first term times 15 is zero. The derivative of this is negative 15. And the derivative of this will be constant. So we will write it as is. And then by power formula or general power formula, the derivative of this expression is 3 times 95 minus t. 3 minus 2, okay, times the derivative of negative t, which is negative 1, right? So this is now the derivative, uh, first derivative of our s in terms of time. Equate this to 0 and then solve for t. Solving for time t, we just have to transpose the, the 15 to the other side and then uh, multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this 2. Uh, so we multiply... 15 by 95 cubed over 975 and then multiply also by one third. Okay, so that's it. But then we can we can uh, cross out 15 divided by 3, so we have 5. So eventually, this can be solved by your calculator and this will be transposed to the other side such that all will be positive except for this one. And so the, your time, the amount of uh, the... Uh, what is the maximum salt or amount of uh, maximum amount of salt in the tank? Um, the maximum will be after huh, 
when t is 28.7 minutes and there is no more water flowing out of the tank because it has exhausted given uh, after this uh, time 28.7 Kasi once you substitute this value to our S equation, then you will arrive at 663 newtons. That's the maximum amount of salt in the tank. Okay, class? Kaya, um, for any mixture problem, ito na yung summary ko. There are a number of variations in mixture problem. In this presentation, we have a non-constant volume in the tank, so it changes at, as a function of time because there is a, an inflow with a given concentration and then the outflow also with a given concentration. No? And the inflow is not equal to outflow. So we have a non-constant volume. You might want to investigate some of these variations such as it could be that there's a fresh water in in uh in entering the tank where in the rate of that uh incoming flow is less than the outgoing flow pwede ganon or it could also be uh fresh water pa rin, but the incoming rate is more than the outflow rate or it could also be that instead of a fresh water entering the tank there is a solution now like, for example, a salt solution with a specified concentration entering the tank. Or it could be na a solution or water with, say, dissolved salt is initially in the tank and then consider both cases wherein there is constant volume or a non-constant volume in the tank. When you say constant volume, flow in is equal to flow out. But if uh, for a non-constant volume, we have a flow in could be greater than flow out or flow in would be less than the flow out. So maraming situations, class, that could be um, that we can, uh, we, that you will meet in different problems in mixture, prob in this type of uh, problem mixture. Um, you just have to remember this our template, and you have to uh, identify in the problem which is, uh, which is the entering flow and the outgoing flow as well as the uh, concentration. Concentration, so most of the problems, concentration of the mixture in the tank is what is being asked, uh, most of most problem. Uh, but there are also some problems na ang concentration dito, ang tinatanong. Now, practical use of this is when you are, uh, let's say, in a manufacturing plant, let's say food, no? food products or mixing of drinks. So you will, you, you will see several large tanks na may iba't ibang mixture such that... Um, well, in, in reality, may mga sensors na yan sila. So, sense na yung amount of uh, specified substance in the tank after some time. Kailan, uh, ilan kaya dapat. So, controlled na yung inflow para yung mixture by constant steering. Ganon talaga ang ma-achieve. And then, magpo-flow siya dun sa next tank ulit. Tapos, meron na namang mixture dun hanggang sa ma-attain yung product talaga na dapat yun ang ipoproduce ng particular uh, assembly na yun na uh, mixture. So makikita mo. But then, of course, hindi na magsusolve ng ganito kasi nakaset na yun. Para, yun na yung technology na ina-apply doon. Meron na siyang sensor na hindi ka na magpo-compute. But behind that, uh, practical use is the concept. Ito yun. Yung application ng um, mixture problem class. So, naintindihan nyo. And then, we have uh, on the assignment here,